Hello everyone, welcome to another video on GCP Associate Cloud Engineer. In this video, we are going to see how to set up the billing export, billing settings in GCP. So once you're logged into GCP, uh, the very first thing that we need to do, we need to connect the billing to this uh, billing account. So for that, I'm gonna go to uh, billing. Uh, first of all and then I'm gonna go here so the first time when you come here it will ask you to uh, connect your billing uh, to this account so once you click on link on billing so the only account that you see at the moment is the account that you are registered with GCP so select that and set the billing uh, once it is done uh, your billing is attached now to this account the second thing uh, that we need to do here uh, we need to export we, we need to set up billing export uh, in this uh, in in this GCP account now now the important thing here is that uh, first of all when you go to the billing export here uh, billing export is all done with the BigQuery storage so BigQuery storage uh, can be a it can be an exam question as well that where is billing billing export connected to so billing export is connected to the BigQuery it can be you can connect it to the file export as well so in order to connect the billing to BigQuery uh, the first of all here we so here uh, it, it must be connected to our project so here if I go to edit settings here within that edit setting if I uh, save this here now so it will be connected to my uh, my first project which is not recommended uh, so the reason is why is it not recommended because my first project is basically uh, your default project and once you're done with all of the resources and samples uh, and uh, and 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 uh, uh, let's say all of the tasks that you're completed or all of the tasks that uh, that you've done under uh, my first project and you're you you have all completed all of the tasks tasks then you can once you delete the project your billing export will be deleted as well so the recommendation here is uh, that uh, that uh, Google recommends that you should have your billing uh, connected to a separate project that will remain that will be there and you do all of the other projects separately according to their task so in order to do so and so instead of doing it here first we are going to come back here to set up the billing export billing export meaning your all billing data collectively what you are doing here within the GCP account must be connected to one of the projects so if you want to connect it here to my first project then you need to remember that never to delete this project because all your billing data will be connected to uh, billing data for this complete account will be connected to my first project so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the home screen and within the home screen I'm gonna go to my first project and here I'm gonna create a new project so when I create a new project here I'm gonna name this admin project so a bit admin project what happens is uh, that this will be my main project for uh, for this uh, for my GCP account uh, GCP account and and I will be having you have 11 remaining projects in this code of free trial so free trial you can create 12 total projects and since I'm using one of the projects so 11 projects are remaining here and this is for my uh, this uh, organization so location is basically the organization that you're working for so here I'm just gonna create this under uh, this uh, under my main account so once this is created so my admin project I'm gonna keep that project on and I keep on creating more and more projects for my other all other cloud cloud activity so if I delete even so now if I delete my first project the billing export won't be deleted so once this is done then we can go back and set up the billing export so all of the billing export settings will be connected to my admin project so here going back to going back to billing export and once I go back to billing export here daily cost detail will be added settings and my admin project is already selected and here go to so you need to create a big data data store a data set so I'm gonna go here uh, and create a new data set for this so within this I will create here so it gives you a welcome screen and here all I need to do is so here I can see my admin project and for the admin project I am going to create a data set 
So this data will be created. I'm gonna just name this, uh, uh, I'm gonna name this GCP billing details. Or I'm gonna say bill billing report and the location will be default I'm gonna keep it in the default default table expiration so I'm not gonna expect uh, I'm gonna leave it never and within the encryption I'm gonna use the Google managed case I'm not gonna use a customer managed case so in the customer managed case if this is a company that you're working for then your company might want to have their own key inside so for now we're using Google managed keys for encryption I'm gonna create this data store and once it is created, I'm going to go to the data set and this is GCP billing reports is right here. I'm going to go back to the billing export. So once I go back to billing export, uh, within the billing export, I can see go edit settings here and in here now I can see my GCP billing reports and it is connected to this project and I'm going to save the details. So once you save the detail billing cost is enabled uh, now and uh, so this is uh, I mean now uh, so once you start seeing uh, once you uh, so now when when you start uh, using Google Ser uh, Google uh, Cloud Services this will be all connected to your billing export that we just uh, created uh, with our main project so here we can see uh, that I have free trial credit which is uh, 408 in credit and 91 days remaining we can upgrade that at any uh, point in time here is my billing account and my billing account is showing right here at the moment nothing is used uh, for this uh, 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 for for Google Cloud services so this is one thing the second thing what we need to do in this uh, video is create a billing alert so in order to create a billing alert uh, let's say you do want to be uh, notified when uh, billing your billing account reaches a certain number uh, for that you need to go to budget and billing uh, budget and alerts so for that I am going into budgets and alert first of all I need to create a budget for this and then later on I can create a billing for this so for example uh, the name of this will be the name of your organization pass uh, pass uh, GCP budget and this will be uh, so there are two projects so both of our project I need to include both of the projects and this will be a uh, total budget for both of the projects and all of the including all of the services uh, here you do you, you do you want to use all of the discounts and promotions and all that here it says selected credits are applied to the total cost here I want to uh, just uncheck this so uh, uncheck means uh, that uh, I don't want to see uh, that that I as soon as uh, as soon as my budget hits a certain amount that I can uh, that I can start uh, uh, seeing the alert okay so we we can we can uncheck that when we create an alert so for now we'll just leave it as is uh, this is a total budget we are setting a total budget for these projects so in here the targeted amount for this is I have a total budget of 90 uh, for uh, for it's around $400 for 400 Australian dollars uh, for 90 days I can set here the target amount so set a monthly target uh, amount so monthly target amount let's say we want to set up an amount of so I'm gonna set up half of this amount so I'm gonna say $150 and here uh, we can set up the alerts uh, here we can set up the alerts uh, so this is a percentage of budget which is 75 and then 135 and in uh, percentage of budget for 150 and here you can set up the triggers uh, forecasted or actual the actual amount that we need to see uh, here you want to be alerted through an email or link to a monitoring or you can connect it to uh, pub and subtopic pub and subtopic if you want to do that program 
automatically we can do that later on for now i just need alert email alerts here and here you can also set up more thresholds here uh, so for example you will be uh, triggered you will be notified when it reaches 50 percent here you can also set up an alert for 10 percent as well so as soon as it reaches 15 then you will be alerted uh, also you will be alerted when it reaches 50 percent 90 percent or 100 percent of the account so we set up an alert we set up a budget a monthly budget is uh, 150 shouldn't go above 150 secondly we also set up some th thresholds here uh, for a 10 percent 50 percent and 90 percent you will get emails on that so i'm gonna just finish that so this is how we can set up budget and alert so in this video we have seen uh, that first of all we created a new project for separate project for admin uh, called admin project so that or our billing remains under that admin project regardless of if we delete uh, different projects after testing purposes because we have a limit of 11 projects uh, so this admin project we won't delete till the end because this will have all the details of the billing number one secondly we also connected our uh, billing export to the admin project uh, third is uh, within this video we uh, we found out that uh, the billing exports are connected to big query storage so big query storage and all other types of storage we'll be looking at in other videos so for now uh, billing export is connected to big query uh, storage and the third we also created a budget and alert uh, for this account the budget monthly budget we set at 150 uh, 150 dollars and we also uh, set up alerts on 10 percent 50 percent 90 and 100 percent and as we start accumulating these services you we will see here in the progress bar so if you ever see need to see the, your progress your use of budget uh, out of 150 you can always come here and look at the budget thank you for watching this video